Boys and girls, today we're going to look at the number of angles that a shape has. We have to find the two shapes that has the same number of angles. This is actually quite easy. Boys and girls, the number of sides determines the number of angles that there will be. So let's look at the triangle. It has one, two, three sides. Therefore, it has three angles because angles are made when line segments meet at the corner. That is an angle. So if we look at our parallelogram, it has one, two, three, four sides, and therefore it's going to have four angles. So that cannot be the answer. In order to have the same number of angles, you need to have the same number of sides. Let's look at choice B. We have a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, which means we are going to have six angles. Now let's look at the trapezoid. One, two, three, four. Since there are only four sides, there will only be four angles. Because again, angles are formed at the corner when the line segments meet. Now let's look at choice C. Again, we have a parallelogram. One, two, three, four. If there are four sides, there's going to be four angles. And once again, we have a hexagon with six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. So where those line segments meet, we, it forms an angle. So this shape will have six angles. So that cannot be the answer as well. Look at D. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So based on what I've told you, you should know that D is the answer. But let's look. The trapezoid, because it has four sides, has four angles. And the parallelogram has four sides, so it has four angles. So the correct choice is D. And all you really need to know is that the number of sides is how many angles there will be.